Hello and welcome to part two of this C sharp exercise where we are creating a bar chart from the user input. In the previous part, we did our while and do while loops to capture the user input, and uh, the user will be entering numbers until the user enters Q, then the entering stops, and now we display the uh, the chart from the user input from the numbers that the user entered now uh, the way I decided to do this is uh, to use uh, an array of numbers that will be basically created from uh, from a string we will enter the input in a format where the user will uh, where we will save the input into a string separated each number by a comma and then we will take this input it's gonna be a long line long long string with just one line bunch of numbers separated by comma and we, we will use the split method of the C-sharp language where we will split this line separated by comma and each number will be placed into its own index uh, of an array so to do that I come up over here well where we are entering the number and if the number is valid we already have the valid input equals true and but we will also obviously have to capture the input that the user entered so I'm going to create another variable which is gonna be a string and I'll just call it all input and initialize it to empty string so when I come over here I will do an user enter valid number I'll simply add it to our all input so all input plus equals the input that's the input that the user entered that's the number when it comes down to here after these two if statements then we already know verified that the user entered a number and we can safely add it to our all input now all input is still a string but that's because we have to use the split function later like I said we need to add the number which is the input but we also we will add a comma after it so after user entered all numbers let's say user entered numbers two three four five then the all input will be a string that will be two comma three comma four comma five comma so remember that at the end there will be a comma as well so we have to account for that later because like I said if uh, after each number there will be a comma even after the last number entered so after we uh, after our while loop after user entered the all the numbers that uh, the user wanted to enter we can now create an array with these numbers so again it's gonna be a string because uh, we need to use the split it's gonna be a string array I'll call it numbers and this one will hold all the numbers still in a string format but already valid numbers and without any other characters in other words without any commas after them so we will do all input dot split and we will split it at the separator of the character of the comma that we entered after each number so when this line l runs it will automatically for us create an array numbers which is a string but it will hold all the numbers before like we had a three comma four comma five comma six comma it will now have a index zero will be three index one will be uh, four index uh, two will be uh, three and so forth without the commas it already will be split into an array called numbers so now we can display the chart with a simple for loop so for and we will do integer i equals now integer i equals zero i is less than 10 actually no I'm sorry integer i will start uh, with one because it's between zero and ten and we decided 
that it's not included 0 and 10. So we'll start from 1. In other words, the chart will not have a number 0 represented in it. 0 is an invalid input and so is 10. So it will be 1 through 9. And I++. plus plus. And in our for loop, we can now uh, write the chart. Now, we will represent each row with a kind of like a heading. So I will do a uh, I will do console dot write, and I'll start on a new line. So uh, I'll enter a new line character. And after that, we will enter the i. So it will display basically numbers 1 through 9 in a, in a column. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 9. This is, like the, this is our heading, just so we know what number we are basically uh, kind of uh, displaying in our chart. And I will add just a bunch of spaces so it's not all crammed together after that. So uh, this is our heading. And... We will do another for loop to display our columns. So for integer c equals zero. Now we are displaying the actual string, uh, the the numbers array. So we start from zero because that's where our index starts for the uh, for the array. So c is less than. Uh, we will do numbers dot length because we don't know how many numbers the user actually entered. Uh, numbers that length, but minus one. Remember I said that uh, at the end of the last uh, number, we still entered the comma. So when we come over here and it split it, the last, this, remember this is a string. So the last character now is just an empty space. So if it comes down to here, and uh, on the next line, we will try to convert the string to a number to display the, the chart. It, it would come to the last uh, element of the array, which is a space, and it cannot convert it to a number. Obviously, space cannot be converted to an integer. So that's what minus one, because we don't want the very last character that is in our numbers array, because that's just an empty space. So C++. And over here, we will simply uh, write the asterisk. Now, we start from a zero uh, as an index, and we are looping through all the, all the numbers in the array to find, you know, like user could enter numbers like two, three, four, two, seven, and then another two. So, you know, they're not in order. We didn't sort them out. So we have to make sure that the number we kind of uh, display the asterisk for the chart only when uh, the numbers are actually the same. So for, we will try to find all ones first and display the number of asterisk that matches the number of ones that was entered. Then we'll try to find number two and uh, match uh, the asterisk, n the number of asterisks to the numbers, to the number of times the number two was entered, and so forth, all the way to nine. So we will simply check if, and uh, over here we can convert it already. Or we have to convert it to uh, the integer. So if we convert to the integer, the numbers which uh, that we are reading from uh, from our array with the index of C. So if this number matches matches the uh, i index, which we, we remember we were looping through numbers one through nine basically. So over here we are sim looping through the array. Over here we are simply looping through numbers one through nine that we are displaying in the final output. These are not stored anywhere. This is just the the numbers that. Uh, are matching our input from between 0 and 10. So if our i matches the number or the number uh, stored in the array matches the i, so in the first iteration we are looking for all ones, then 
we will output uh, or display the asterisk and right and we will display the asterisk and that uh, after the end of this loop we will display asterisk for all ones then it comes over here i now equals two so it comes over here and looks for all twos it, it checks if the number uh, that we are looping through our array matches the i which is two and if it does it displays uh, an asterisk remember we are doing a right not a right line so they are each uh, output is uh, next to the previous one not on the new line so and this is all there is to it over here at the end i will simply do console.write line and i'll move it just to, just to have a new line so it's uh, uh so it's not all cr so crowded and this is really all our program so let's test it i'm gonna run it and it's asking please enter a number between 0 and 10 so uh, let's enter 3 then ask for another one uh, 4 then another 3 9 let's enter something like a t which is not obviously a number and it's an invalid input and it simply didn't take it didn't crash because the uh, uh, because the program uh, using the the try parse but it didn't display an in, uh, invalid input message so something's wrong so I'm gonna exit it I'm gonna figure out what's wrong why it's not displaying the invalid input message when I enter a uh, non valid uh, input because it comes over here so the first input was correct okay remember we entered number three so it comes over here and it sets the valid input to three and uh, enters it to our all input string and it comes over here this is uh, the value is false so it skips it and up comes over here and valid input is true so it skips it and uh, because it was a valid input and it asked for another number but valid input was already set to true it was never reset back to false so at the beginning of each the while loop i need to set the valid input equals false i have to reset it to false so when it comes over here and it is actually true it will set it back to true but if it's a false uh and it, uh, it will come over here and display the uh, actual message so let me run it again so again try it three four nine five three and that's a nine and that's the t and now it says invalid input the value won't count so let's do eight nine nine three and let's say one and let's uh q lowercase q and that's a valid input so it should simply exit and display the chart and over here you have the chart number one was entered once number two was not entered number three was entered three times number four was once five once eight ones and nine was four times so each star each asterisk represents how many times the uh, represents one time the number was actually entered so uh, yeah this is our chart uh, fairly straightforward i think again we are collecting the input and over here we the input is split into an array using the split method and over here the array is converted to an integer and the number that we are currently going through in the array is compared to the number in from the outer for loop which is i and starts from one all the way to nine so we loop through all ones then we loop through all twos and so forth and we comparing them whether the number that we are looping through the numbers array is matching the i in other words if it matches the row that we are currently uh, trying to display the chart for all right so this is the exercise i hope you liked it if you did please leave a like uh, leave a comment share with your friends and i will see you in the next video
Take care.